Today, Travis and I are going on the Battle of Okinawa tour, where we will learn about the 80-plus day battle between the U.S. and Japan that resulted in over 100,000 Japanese casualties. We'll see remnants of medical instruments, guns, knives, and other weapons, and also of walls with bullet holes in them, and much more. We'll be shown caves where the Japanese would commit suicide or kill their children and then themselves to die with honor, also landmarks now in which their battles were fought then. The first stop on our tour is Okinawa Prefecture Peace Memorial Museum and Peace Prey Park. The first story goes back to August 6, 1945 at 8.15 a.m. It dropped ever. 70,000 people died in Hiroshima. That today, 71 years after the war, 200,000 in Hiroshima, a little, little, little girl, a little girl, Sadako Sasaki, she was two years old when Eva attacked Hiroshima. Two years old, she got the radiation. Then ten years later, when she she became twelve years old, she was in the hospital. Sleep at the leukemia disease. Get no better. So she tried to believe in her, believe in herself. That German people saying, if you could hold up the water the claim with Oregon paper, Oregon paper, if you could make water the claim, your dream will come true. People believing in Japan's community. So she took seriously. Well, if she could hold up the water the claim. If my ear will be cured, she was holding one, 964, she died. So her friends finished up the water the crane in the hospital in Hiroshima. Then this news went all of the nation, all of the nation, American, American president. He came to Hiroshima and he was holding water the crane, donated for museum. So what they did, America approached nearby, before the monster captured them, they have to kill themselves. So they reached a ceremony. Honorable death, loyalty, every war, honorable death. Honorable death, honorable death, honorable death, honorable death, lunch at the hotel and now we're headed over to the gift shop to see if we can find a magnet. We always have to get magnets everywhere we go. 
Little phone charms. Those are cute. Those necklaces. Those. We went for magnets and also got sunglasses. Matching. Now we're getting back on the bus to head to the Naval Underground thing. And a couple other places. Hill, a hill, hill 51 or hill 52. This much short hill, but all time Japan's military built three tunnels here. Sugarloaf Hill, 300, 300 meter. That direction half moon. Much smaller hill is half moon. This direction horseshoe, horseshoe. The underneath tunnel. The, yeah, tunnel. Tunnel. Yeah. Not toenails. No, no, not tunnels. Tunnel. <laughs> Sugarloaf Hill, Half Moon, and Horseshoe were a triangle of strong points that the Japanese had set up designed to delay and damage the attacking U.S. forces. We're now on the last stop of our tour at Hacksaw Ridge.
So this is where they would come to pray for safety. And this is where they would hide, readily armed, waiting for American forces to approach. This was our tour guide for the day. And though I didn't catch her name, she did tell us that she was only three months old when the Battle of Okinawa was happening. She said the only reason she had survived, unlike many others who were killing their children and then themselves, was because her mother was too uneducated to know that she should just kill her as an infant so that she would die with honor, opposed to being killed by Americans. After our Battle of Okinawa tour, we stopped at the big Rycom Mall and got ourselves a tripod for the camera, and now we're going to get ourselves drawn as cartoons. All right, so we are cartooned. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> the other day when we stopped at Starbucks, I saw there was going to be a new drink coming out September 1st, and it just happens to be September 1st. <sighs> Is it good? It's delicious. It tastes just like a maple bar. It really does just taste like a maple bar from Washington. I miss maple bar donuts if yep. you've never had a maple bar. You're clearly not from Washington. It does taste like a maple bar. There's little chunks in it too. And we got these tiny little... Gross little bread things. I'm not really sure what they are. They're really dry bread sticks. <laughs> I don't know what they are. They're odd. They're not very good. <laughs> but I'm going to eat it anyways. We are ending today with dinner at the Transit Cafe down here on the seawall. We've never been here before, but we've heard good things. Our wedding anniversary is on Saturday, um, but Travis works on Saturday, so we're using today as our anniversary day. To start, we got two Caesar salads, but they're huge. Yeah, they're supposed to be small. Like a side salad, not a meal salad. We both ended up getting steak with garlic sauce, and there's vegetables and potatoes. We couldn't decide on anything different. We were both set on steak. That looks so good. Well, how did you like your dinner? It was all right. But? It wasn't $50 good. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty decent. We ended up getting salad and steak that resulted in almost $50 dinner, which for us is a little steep. It was all right. I mean, it was good, but I don't know if I would spend that again. I can make steak at home. I don't need to spend $50 to have steak. For those of you that don't know, this is the seawall. Not entirely sure how long it is, but it runs up and down the coast here. We're probably just gonna hang out here for a little while and watch the sunset, then we'll head home and relax. It's been a long day, lots of walking around, lots of stairs, lots of sweating. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up for me. If you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button down below, and uh, we will see you next time. This is Wings Week. Good night. <laughs>